I will make the comment that I think what's going to happen in reality is the companies that will optimize their cost will most likely purchase or buy out the plants that cannot optimize it. And what I mean by that is from a pure business perspective, I think that they will just push out plants that have absolutely no idea of what's going on in their operations out of the market. And I think we see this all the time. There's a lot of consolidation happening, even in the large companies. I think the example that I can use is Yokele had a plant back in 2012 that was running very poorly and they closed down the facility. And that's when the current CEO and owner of Chobani came in, bought the plant for pennies on the dollar. They just abandoned the plant. He got all of that equipment for scrap metal price. And he started up a multi-billion dollar company because, again, I'm not going to paint a picture that it was only solely based on data, right? Don't get me wrong. There's also product, there's marketing, extrinsic factors that play into this. But ultimately, they are very data-driven. They understand the process. And so if you have teams that are too relaxed, I almost tend to say that it's almost it goes against the engineering approach right as an engineer you should be learning new technologies you should be always looking at ways to do new things and i don't think it's an excuse to say we've hired somebody 20 years ago so they're going to absolutely never do anything outside of what the factory has been doing so i look i understand that's what happens and that's the reality but i think that if i was in a management role at that facility even if i'm not let's say highly technical I could see what's happening outside of my horizon because that's what a leader is paid to do. And I would try and instill a culture that is, to some extent, trying new things, right? And I'm not trying to sell this as every industry 4.0 IoT digital transformation initiative is going to be highly successful and propel you to the stratosphere. But what I'm trying to say is that you should be experimenting. You should be, again... There's a lot of low-hanging fruit, and we've talked about this, and there's a lot of facilities implementing OE metrics. They're implementing condition monitoring. They're implementing fault-finding tools. So it, there's a lot of things that you should be at least looking at. And if you're not, I really think you're just going to be bought out at some point by a company that has better technology. And one last thing, like I'll mention, and I think I've talked about this on stream. Again, I went to this co-packer uh, of beer here locally about now maybe six months to a year ago and they have fully digitally integrated systems where you could place an order through their website it will be scheduled down to the production line it would be prioritized based on the quantity of product based on oe so it's fully integrated right mm -hmm. and i've not seen any of this from large co-packers so at some point if the small company can make innovations like that and they capture some of the market because of how easy it is for the customer, right? The focus is on the customer, for the customer to place orders with them, they will just scale and then purchase the companies that cannot adopt such technology. So I think it's always thinking, what are we providing that's better for the end customer? <clears throat>